Hello, we are in the Euro PCR 2015. Uh, I'm Guillaume Kella, an interventional cardiologist in the Nîmes Hospital. It's my pleasure to welcome my friend Gregory Ducrot. And uh, today there was a very interesting session on all you need to know on STEMI. So, uh, Gregory, why a session on STEMI in 2015? Uh, as you know, Guillaume, the in hospital mortality has decreased dramatically uh, 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 within the last 15 years, but still the one year mortality in STEMI patients is still quite high. So there is still a lot uh, of uh, improvement uh, that is needed in uh, STEMI patient management. Those improvements uh, can be uh, uh, made in terms of uh, anti-traumatic uh, strategies refinements on procedural refinements or also uh, uh, on the network improvements. Okay, and uh, did you discuss the optimal antithrombotic therapy in the STEMI condition? Yeah, we had a, a very interesting lecture by uh, Markova Gimigli, and he, he, he made a very comprehensive uh, uh, lecture on this topic. The, the problem in, in 2015 is that we have very potent oral antiplatelet agents, but uh, still those oral antiplatelet agents still have some delay of action, okay. which can be a problem uh, in uh, the STEMI setting. So there are a lot of questions related to uh, the management of those uh, antiplatelet agents. Should we preload the patients? Should we use uh, uh, modern uh, IV uh, uh, antiplatelet agents like Congrelor? Uh, should we continue to use uh, 2B3 inhibitors? There, there is a lot of discussion, uh, a lot of uh, uh, refinement that can be done in terms of strategies with the uh, antiplatelet agents. Okay, very interesting. And what about the, the procedural considerations? Still, the, um, again, the procedural com um, considerations have changed a lot uh, uh, in, the, in the last years. We had some very interesting data regarding uh, the uh, tr uh, thrombus aspiration and uh, uh, the, those data are negative and tr uh, thrombus aspiration is used less and less and in parallel we have some positive and very interesting data on the usefulness uh, of radial approach in those patients so the procedure by itself of primary PCI is still changing so uh, uh, again there is ongoing improvement in the in the in the procedure by itself okay very interesting and I think that uh, Stefan James has presented a very uh, interesting lecture on unresolved issue uh, of instantly yeah. could you please uh, explain us there are still a lot of uh, unresolved, unresolved topic, and um, currently the very hot topic is uh, the management of non culprit lesions, as you know. And after the positive uh, results of the trial uh, of the uh, PRAMI and the culprit trial, we are still uh, uh, looking uh, for uh, how can we apply those results in our practice. And there are a lot of uh, larger ongoing trials on these questions of non culprit lesions. And uh, uh, this was one of the of the main discussion uh, of this part. We discussed a lot, and it was uh, it was very very interesting. Okay, thank you very much, Gregory. Thank you.